Hey all, welcome to Unleash Dance. Today's topic is Straddle Kick. Straddle Kick is uh, taken from Capoeira, a martial art form which is in Brazil. Uh, it's used in contemporary dance as well. Um, there are many ways to do a Straddle Kick. I'm going to teach you one of the ways to do it and maybe another variation of the same thing. Alright, so uh, we begin in a, in a figure 4 position. This looks like a 4. This, that's what I think it looks like. So, you're basically going to hook one leg on top of the other, like this. Yeah, now what I want you to think about, the first thing I'm going to think about is the head and the hip. Alright? So, you have to make sure that your hip is rising and your head is falling, like this. Yeah, one more time. So this is the most important step in the straddle kick, making sure that your head is going behind and your hip is rising. So practice just getting your hip uh, as high as possible. Alright? Step 2 is the kick. Alright? So instead of taking the leg across the floor like that, I want you to kick. Yeah? Kick. Now, as you kick, you follow uh, the rest of the body follows the kick. So my right hand is going up and the rest of the body is going to fall. Yeah, it's very important that your hip goes as high as possible for you to execute this move without hurting your toes. Alright? So make sure you keep pushing up. There has to be a nice big arch in your back. Yeah? One more time. Kick and follow up. Alright? Now, the next step is not going far from the hand but coming circling back into the arm. For example, my arm is here. I'm not going to take my legs over there. There's a lot of distance between my arm and my leg. I'm going to circle back into my hand. So I want to place my legs somewhere like close to my hand. Yeah? Cool. That is step two. Step three is uh, following it up with the following leg. So I'm kicking with my right leg. Now I'm also going to kick the left leg. Now you have to remember if you kick your right leg at this height, your left leg has to go over this. So how high you kick your first, the leading leg, determines how high the kick is going to be. Alright? So if you kick here, it's going to be like there. If you kick high, then you're going to end up on your feet. Alright? So one more time, just watching that, following it up with the following leg as well. Alright? And delay the following leg. Don't kick it immediately. You want to delay the kick a little bit. Alright? So that is known as a straddle kick. I'm going to show you a different variation. So I'm going to show you all the steps. Step 1. Step 2, step 3, and the last step coming up. Alright? So that is your study kick. I'm going to teach you a small variation with the same. So instead of circling back into the arm this time, we move as far away from the hand as possible. So I'm not going to come back into the arm like that. I'm going to go away. And as I go away, I land on my shin. You have to make sure you land, you don't land your toes, you land your shin. Alright? So, not like this, but like this. And don't bring the leg back in. Take your entire body towards the leg. Alright? So, this is how it should look. Yeah? All the things that I mentioned in this style kick, all the same things apply. Raise your hip, drop your head, and kick as far as you can. Alright? So let's do both on both sides. Right? And on the left. Second variation. You can use your arms as well if they help you do the movement better. 
Alright? So keep practicing, make sure your hip and your head are in place and warm your back sufficiently for this. Alright? Keep practicing. All the best.